Hi guys, you're welcome back. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the location address in which uh, the coordinates, the latitude and longitude of a particular location of a device will be translated into an address. So we'll be using the Google Play services uh, library to actually make this possible. And I'll be showing you the source file and I'll be explaining some functionalities right inside the code. Moving straight to Android Studio, Right there in the build gradle model app session, I have my compile com.google.android.gms play services 8.1.0. So this is very important. After including this line, you synchronize gradle and you have your application set and ready to use the different methods and classes right inside the Google Play services. Looking at the rest, we'll talk about the layout file which is the main activity XML, which is the launch activity of this particular application. That's a relative layout with the tools and the layout with tonight match parent, the pattern left and right are 64 dp, while the top and bottom are 16 dp. The contest is calling the main activity. It has a button, which has an idea of fetch address button where the layout with an IH wrap content and the text on it is fetch address with an on click handle which is the fetch address button handler it has a progress bar with an idea of progress underscore bar for the layout with an IH wrap content and the layout sets are apparent true it's with a text view that houses uh, an idea of location address view this is actually the text view that the displays the location address with the layout with an height of wrap content, we align the parent to the left, which is true, and the parent start, also true. We align the parent to the top, and we set the layout margin top based on the dimension, which is the test margin top. So there's going to be a margin at the top of this particular text view. From here, I'll be looking at the Java classes in Bob. We have the constants. The fetch address intent service and the main activity. Let's look at the main activity, which is the launcher UI. It extends the action backup activity, which is deprecated. Definitely, app compact activity can as well go in here. And it implements the connection callbacks and the connection field listener. We have some protected string here. The first is the main activity. The second is the address requested key, while the third is the location address key. We all assign a different string to them, the request pending and the location address. We're going to provide the entry point to the Google Play services, which is creating an object of M Google API client. And uh, we're going to represent a geographical location called calling M last location. This application is going to track whether the user has requested an address. And this becomes true when the user requests an address and false when the address or an error message is delivered. The user requests an address by pressing the fetch address button, which you actually saw that in the main activity XML. This may happen before the Google API client connects. This activity uses this boolean, which is either true or false, to keep track of the user's intent. If the value is true, the activity tries to fetch the address as soon as the Google API client connects. So we have the M address requested boolean, and we have the formatted location address, which is the M address output that's actually holding on to the output string. We also have the receiver requested with this activity to get a response from the fetch address intent service. This is actually going to get a response from the address intent service class, which we'll be talking about after this. We have the M location address text view that displays the location address. The M progress bar. So we are going to actually initialize this. Beyond create method, we set the content to the layout main activity in XML. We instantiate the M result receiver with the new keyword to the address result receiver and also a new handler. Now we initialize the M location address text view that was created to display the location address 
we get the ID. Same thing goes for the M progress bar and for the M fetch address button. We all find the view by ID. We're going to set up the fourth update using the value stored in the bundle, which is the M address requested to force at the moment. And the output is, a, is an empty string. What about the update value from bundle? It's going to be the same instance state. We have the update field based on the date stored in the bundle, which is the update values from bundle. If the save instance state is not equal to null, the save instance state is going to check for the address which was previously requested, which is the save instance state. Get the key sets. So if it contains this, it needs the address requested key. The same thing goes for this, which is the M address requested, will be the value that the boolean will be passed into. And we're going to check for the save instance state to see if the location address string was previously found and stored in the bundle. If it was found, display the address string in the UI. That's what this is actually going to do, this chunk. Now we need to build the Google API client. This is the build Google API client where we're going to use the add API to the location services API. Afterwards, when the users click the fetch address button, this starts the service to fetch the address. If the Google API client is connected, we have the fetch address button and layer. So this only starts when the service to fetch the address, Google API client is connected. Over here, where you start the intent service. We have the unstart that connects the Google API client and the unstop that disconnects. We have the unconnected method. This gets the best and most recent location currently available, which will be null in rare cases when the location is not available. It's going to start the Intel service that was passed into the fetch address button handler. Now, we're going to create an intent for passing to the intent service responsible for fetching the address, which is the fetch address intent service class. I'm going to pass the result receiver as an extra to the service, you know, like, like an extra data to the service. And also the location data as an extra to the service. The put extra, the first one is the M result receiver, the second is the M last location. Let's get to look at the fetch address intent service. Asynchronously handles this asynchronously handles an intent using a worker thread which received a result receiver object and a location through an intent. This tries to fetch the address for the location using a geocoder and sends the result to the result receiver. The fetch address intent service that extends the intent service itself. And we have the fetch address IS as the tag and the receiver, M receiver. Now we have a constructor which is required and calls the super intent service, the fetch address intent service. We use the tag to name the worker thread. Now we're going to try to get the location address using a geocoder. If successful, it's going to send an address to a result receiver. If unsuccessful, it's going to send an error message instead. That's for the on handler intent. So it is going to check if the receiver was properly registered. That's for this. It's going to log to, to tag. No receiver received. There is nowhere to send the result and return the value. We're going to get the location passed to the service through an extra that was passed right from the main activity, if you can remember. So now we're going to get it, which is using the get policy which you're going to use the get pass label extra based on location data extra. We're going to make sure that the location data was really sent over through an extra. If it was it, it's going to send an error message. So we're going to check for the location if it's null. And the error message is no location data was provided, which is got from the string XML. 
Now this is the geocoder, which is used to get the responses localized for the given locale, which represent a specific geographical or linguistic region. The locales are used to alter the presentation of information, such as numbers of dates to suit the conventions in the region they describe. We instantiate the geocoder getting an object from this. We send it goes for the address using the geocoder. Now there's a try method. Using the get from location method returns an array of addresses for the area immediately surrounding the given latitude and longitude. The results are a best guess and are not guaranteed to be very accurate, but they are close to accurate. Using the geocoder get from location method based on the get latitude and the get longitude. If an exception, which is actually going to catch the network or other input and output problems. So the error message will be sorry, the service is not available. Also, there is going to be a catch for illegal argument exception. This is going to catch for invalid latitude or longitude value. So log to tag the latitude and the longitude. I'll be looking at the manifest. We need a permission, Android permission access finds location. And we need the meta version of the com.google android.gms version. Also, the service to asynchronously fetch a location address using a geocoder, setting the android exported attributes to false, which stops other apps from starting the service, even when using an explicit intent. The service fetch address intent service, which is actually going to fetch the address based on the latitude and longitude value. This is a very rundown of uh, the location address is actually being come to play. It gets the latitude, you know, coordinates and the longitude, and from there it matches it with the given address string. This is very handy, and I will implore you to also get acclimatized with how it flows, integrate it with your application. I'll be showing a screenshot of this particular application. And I'll be uh, uploading the source file to, to my GitHub account so you can pick it up from there. very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a blessed day bye bye